this is Marie and I'm back with another video and this video is going to be Hermit Crab update plus new tank tour. So let's get started. So in this video I will be showing you and talking a little bit about the Hermit Crabs and also giving you guys a new tank tour setup. So here we go. So as you guys can see here I have a 20 gallon long Hermit Crab tank and I have currently 6 Hermit Crabs, 4 Ecuadorians and 2 Purple Pinchers. Now the first thing I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about will be the heat mats. And I have two on each side. One is on the left and then the other one is on the right. Moving on to the next thing will be their substrate. I currently am using Eco Earth substrate and a little bit of play sand. I decided to change it up and put all Eco Earth in just a little bit of play sand. Before in my other videos, I was actually using all play sand and just a little bit of equal earth. But I think it looks a lot better this way and it makes it more a natural theme for the hermit crabs. And I think it came out really well. So I decided to go ahead and go this route. Moving on to the left side will be their new currently water bowls. I have a fresh water on this side and a salt water on this side. And I picked those up at pet smart and they're like an all natural brown color and they're pretty deep inside all of my hermit crabs are pretty much small and one medium so it's plenty big enough for all of them to grow into until they get probably about a large size and then I'll have to switch them out and get bigger ones but I absolutely love these bowls they're more natural theme and I think these are going to hold up a lot better than the old ones the other ones I had were the corner bowls and they were actually nice because they were fit in the corner and make more space inside of the hermit crab tank. But when I would put the food in there and keep it in there for maybe like a day or two and take it out, it would start staining the bottom of the bowl and when I would try to scrub it with hot water it would not come out. And also if they have got dirt and sand inside of the other bowls and I would try to clean that out, it would actually stain the bowls on the bottom. So they were starting to get really bad and ugly looking so I decided just to throw those away and get new ones. And I wanted to go more with the natural theme when I currently updated my whole Hermit Crab tank. And I think the bowls came out a lot better than those corner bowls. Now don't get me wrong, the corner bowls were nice but they were just down the road. I think they're going to start getting stained and you cannot get it out and it just looks ugly to me. So I just decided just to throw them out and try something different. And I absolutely love these bowls. Now moving on to the back corner, you will see a really tall green plant. And it goes all the way up to the lid. And I absolutely love this plant. And so does my hermit crabs. They just love climbing and hanging on this plant. I had this plant for pretty much a long time. And it's held up since then. Um, I think I had this plant since when I had my 20 gallon tall tank. So that's probably been almost, what, two or three years now. And this tank... I mean, this plant has kept up since then. So it's doing pretty well, and they just absolutely love this. Now, underneath it, I decided to do something change, and I decided to put some moss underneath it, and so to give them more a hiding spot if they want to sleep by the heater, or just want to climb inside and dig inside the side of the moss. And then in the back corner is where their shells are, so it gives them privacy to change their shells inside the moss if they want to. So that is what that looks like. Moving on to the middle of the tank, they have their currently cave. It's a brown, really hard, rough, rough um, cave. And I got this back at, I want to say Petco. And it's been held up really well. And it's actually a, like a lizard kind of um, cave, but you can use it pretty much for anything. And I absolutely love this. Um, they climb on it and always hide inside of it all the time, so they really like that. And then in the back corner is just their other plastic plant that I link, that I kind of draped over it, where they can climb on it and hide inside it if they want to. And then their humidity gauge is in the back corner. And then on the right side is their other bowl that is their food bowl. And like I said, it's one of their new ones, and it's just a natural theme bowl. And it just shows you a little bit more better of how deep it is actually inside. So it's a good sized bowl for like small hermit crabs. And then in the back corner is actually something new. Well, I, I have this for a very long time. Um, I bought it on Amazon a while back. 
and was going to actually hang it on the lid but I had a hard time doing it so I never put it in here but when I decided to change up everything inside of the tank I decided to try it and put it in here but instead of hanging it I just laid it on the substrate and then put it like dug the uh, ladder little ladder steps inside of the dirt so it makes it looks like it actually comes up from the dirt so it's pretty cool and they absolutely love it and I think there's like one or two hermit crabs in there and then there's actually moss hide in there for them so they can dig around and sleep in there and get nice and warm too also so that is what that looks like okay and here's one of the hermit crabs this is Minnie and she yes she is in a painted shell and no I did not put her in that painted shell and yes she had came in this painted shell when I bought her at Petco and she has not changed since then so please do not comment down below that I am mean and put my hermit crabs into painted shells and why am I buying hermit crabs with painted shells I have bought hermit crabs in the past with painted shells and they have done really well except maybe one of them um, she has plenty of shells in there to change over with when she is time and ready to do it she will do it I'm not gonna force her so please don't comment down below and be rude about her having a painted shell and everything else because I have lost in the past of my other sh um, videos you guys had other people had put saying that you know, painted shells are bad for hermit crabs, and yes, I do know that, but I did not put her in that shell. She was already in that shell when I bought her from the pet store. But she is actually doing really well. She's been pretty much getting bigger, and she has not molted yet. And she's just hanging out, digging around in the moss. But that is what Minnie looks like. And Minnie is actually the medium-sized hermit crab, so she actually is the only one that's the big size out of all of them. So there she is hanging out. And then moving on to the back corner, um, you'll see another hermit crab. Let me see if you can s focus. Back there, there's another hermit crab, and that is actually a purple pincher hermit crab. Let's see if we can go with this. There we go. So there's um, the smallest hermit crab, and that one used to be named Summer, but I decided to name her Rosie instead. So her new name is Rosie, and she's doing pretty good. She's hanging on to the sticks up there. Now that is the last thing I want to go ahead and show you guys that I have actually put sticks into my hermit crab tank and it's been a very long time since I had sticks inside of my hermit crab tank because when I had my 20 gallon tall tank it was pretty easy to find sticks to put in there but then when I upgraded and got the 20 gallon long tank I had a hard time finding sticks for this size of a tank. But I actually found some sticks finally and they worked out really well and they look so good in here. And the hermit crabs absolutely love it. They have a second level to climb around and jump, you know, climb and go to each side of the tank on all four corners. All the sticks are on each side of the corner. So they absolutely love it. They do climb onto the tree and then get onto the sticks that way. So that's how they usually come up there. Or they'll climb right here and jump on, or not jump, but like climb up to the stick that way. But they have different ways of getting up there. They, I mean, they have no problems at all getting up to the stick. So. But they look so good, and I'm so excited to finally find sticks in here. Um, I think the hermit crab tank looks so good with sticks inside of it. And it gives them a second level that's easier for them to climb around and hang up if they want to go up a little higher than just a plant. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off the lid and then show you guys a little bit more better inside of it. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here is what the inside of the tank looks like. And here is one of the hermit crabs. Like I said, her name is Rosie. And she's a purple pincher, and she's just hanging out on the stick, enjoying herself. And then this is what the coconut hut looks like. I'm going to try to put it, the camera inside of it so you guys can get a little bit more of what it looks like inside. And there it is. It's pretty much huge inside. Pretty much all six hermit crabs can probably fit in here and be comfortable as heck because it's so huge inside of this um, coconut hut. And I just have moss inside 
where they can just climb inside and hide in there. I think there is a hermit crab in there somewhere. Kind of hard to see. But that's what the coconut hut looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and show you what the sticks look like. So they're on each side right here. So this is what they look like. Alright guys, so this is what the tank looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!